All right, hello everyone. I'm Christina Poncher, and thank you for tuning in to our exclusive look at Manny Pacquiao's training camp as he gets ready for his fight against Timothy Bradley, April 9th from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. In today's look, camp is starting to wind down as this will be his last full week of training before fight week. So you will get a look at a few rounds on the mitts with trainer Freddie Roach, uh, some bag work, speed bag, and heavy bag. And we will also have an interview with Manny Pacquiao, Freddie Roach, and whoever else may stop by here at the wild card. So enjoy your exclusive look, and we'll see you here within the next couple hours. We're going to take you through about a two-hour or so workout here that he's going to do. So um, we're not going to show you everything uh, per Freddie Roach's uh, demands, but um, you will enjoy this look, and uh, let's take you over there now. Justin Fortune. F-O-I-T-U-N-E. Sure, it's Fortune. F-O-R-T-U-N-E. I don't have a fortune. As in fortune teller. Please give me a fortune. <laughs> As in fortune cookie. Just, just nobody. <laughs> I just pop in for a day to say hello. That's all.
here with Justin Fortune, a familiar face around Team Pacquiao. Now, Justin, take me through what you've been doing with Manny. Obviously, this is his longest layoff that he'll be coming, coming off of for this fight against Tim Bradley. So I would have to imagine that things started a little bit slower than usual in the beginning. Just a slower build-up, build a, build a bigger base for Manny to work off so he, um, he peaks at the right time. That's all. What are some of the things that you guys worked on when he got back here? Mostly with Bradley, it's just a speed, most of his legs, explosion and speed movements, plyometrics, leg plyometrics, um, drills like that. So we we'll stay away from his shoulder, his upper body. Um, you know, like last time we fought Timothy, 12 rounds, Manny just outworked him. He's a very well-conditioned athlete. Yeah, he, some of the camp stories I hear is that you guys have to almost try to stop him, pull him back because he wants to continue to go, go, go. Yeah, sometimes. Man, he's just, you know, he's one of those phenomenal athletes. Um, yeah, you got to pull him back and just tell him when to slow down, conserve it and keep it all for the fight. That's all. Uh, you guys do a morning run, correct? Kind of take me through some of the drills you do there before, you know, training doesn't just start here in the gym. It starts long before he gets here. It starts in the morning, you know, um, sparring days, flats, and non-sparring days, all heels. Uh, with the hills, just do a bunch of um, plyometric works with his legs. Just speed him up, more, make him more agile on his feet, which is, you know, easy because he's fast enough. So, you know, it's, um, it's not difficult with Manny because he's a dedicated fighter. I've been with Manny now for since 2002. So, you know, it's, um, he always works hard. So it's, just, it's, it's not hard to train back out. Considering you have been with him for the past 14 years now we're going on, uh, where would you say he is at this point? A lot of people saying that he's getting older, uh, maybe that he's slowing down. It obviously doesn't look like it when he's in the ring, but uh, have you seen any deterioration, uh, for lack of a better word, in, in his abilities at this point in his career? No, not at all. Um, in fact, with his age, is that's where you slow him down and pull him back a little bit so you, you can serve it all for the ring. Um, as far as that, you know, he's so fast. And he could drop three or four notches and still be faster than anyone else out there. Um, his speed, as you see, his speed's not, not a problem. He's gifted when it comes out. He's naturally fast. He's super fast twitch muscle fiber. So we just work on that with his legs and his upper body. Um, anybody that's watching that, you know, starts wanting to train or become a boxer or, you know, yeah, hopes to yeah. <laughs> forget. <laughs> you heard that from me first. Right? <laughs> what kind of things can they do uh, before they even get into the ring to help, to help uh, prepare them? So to start? Sure, yeah. Jeez. I mean, you run, know, do jump, run, jump you know, this, that, and the other. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Mostly if you, if you want to work, depends what you want to work on. Depends what you level you're at and, and who you are and what you want to do. It's all different. Everyone, everybody is different. Uh, I'm also trained Dennis Lebedev as a cruiserweight world champ. So it's just a whole different training for a whole different person. That's all. A lot of people think that... Uh you know, they call, quote-unquote, strength and conditioning something that's been a more recent phenomenon. I know that you don't care for the title very much, but at the end of the day, the, the hard work and everything is done. Road work you've seen for years. It's, it's the running. It's everything that comes with the endurance. That, that's more of the strength and conditioning because not so much lifting weights or doing all this new new stuff, correct? No, it's not. It's, it's, it's new stuff, but it's all based on old, old theories. Um, for an athlete, for someone like Manny who's had 60 fights, the thing is to stop him from getting bored. So with the conditioning, with the strength and conditioning, where it's all strength and conditioning, but it's varying it so much so that his body is always responding and you're keeping it and not getting bored. Because, you know, and with every athlete, it's like five of this, four of that, three of that, two of that. You know, after a while it does get monotonous and it does get boring. So if you keep varying it and breaking it up, you know, you keep your athlete interested and then you have some fun and you have a laugh and, and training becomes, becomes fun. If it's not fun, then most people just won't bother doing it. Well, and when they're good at it and it works and you see the results, then obviously you want to you keep it going. That, it's still good. Even, sure. when, even with top athletes, they you know they still appreciate the variation in, in the training methods for sure. I know Manny likes to play a little bit of basketball. Are you okay with that? I know Fre Freddie's not so much a fan. I don't, I don't play basketball. He plays basketball. Are you okay? Are you okay well, with I'm that? Australian. I don't play basketball. <laughs> what do you play? Rugby. Rugby. <laughs> a little tougher of a sport. Justin, appreciate you. I know we'll let you get back to work. Okay, thanks, man. All right, thank you. All right, more to come. Stay tuned. Manny Pacquiao's live workout.
Manny wrapped up on the heavy bag. He's now moving to the double-ended bag here. Freddie, we just saw Manny put in some work on the heavy bag. Now he's moving over to the double-ended bag. Talk to me about the difference now from one bag to the next. Uh, you know, the heavy bag is, again, for strength and endurance, and we just uh, we're really making you strong, your body strong and so forth. And doing those hard shots and you, you, using all the muscles and the, the footwork that goes with it, so you get your whole body weight between it. The double-ended bag is more of a speed uh, it's more it's just for fast reflexes, good head movement. So it's really fast. We we make him extra tight for Manny because he has so much speed. So most people have trouble hitting the combination of the bag because it's too fast for them. It's so tight. And so, but with Manny, he has no problem because of his speed factor. And this really helps him with his speed. And it's a, we'll go through rounds here and then... From here, we'll go to the speed bag next, which is a, a similar, sim, similar tool, but just a little bit of a different uh, method. But this is a little bit better for actually boxing because, you, like your opponent inside, when you when you when you punch and you make a slip slip, you actually imagine your opponent throwing punches at you and you slip slip and you counter in. So it's it's a very good bag and uh, really um, came popular in Mexico uh, back in the seventies and. 80s and I didn't come to America for a little while. Um, in my career, I never got to use one because um, I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the bag work is a constant. It will, no matter if it's a sparring day, not sparring day, will he always utilize the three bags? Always use, yes. We, we need these daily just for endurance and routine and just practice and stay sharp. A few people may have said that Manny has slowed down in recent years, but when you watch him, what would you say to that? No, they, they, they don't know him too well. Uh, he hasn't slowed down a bit. He's really, he's, um, his work ethic is uh, the, the greatest ever. And uh, you know, a little bit of his sparring hasn't been as great as you, you used to be with the knockdowns and so forth. Only because he's saving for the fight at this time. He's a, you know, he knows he's a veteran. He doesn't have to really hurt his sparring partners. But when he wants to hurt you, he can. Yeah, believe me, I, I know. Thanks, Freddie. Thank you.
All right, another familiar face that you may see here in the wild card gym is that of Marvin Simodio, co-trainer of Manny Pacquiao. Marvin, you've been with Manny since the first Bradley fight. How would you compare this training camp to the training camps for the previous fights? Uh, I think this, this camp is uh, like uh, almost the same. I think uh, you know, Freddie made uh, some adjustment because uh, Freddie knows that uh, uh, Bradley is training with, uh, with a different trainer. What do you expect differently to see from Tim Bradley in this third fight? I think this time Bradley's going to be more smart and uh, he'll, he'll try to use di different uh, strategy to like to win this fight. But I think the outcome of the fight is going to be the same. For people that say that they think that Manny has faded in recent years, you guys don't see it here in the gym, correct? Yeah, I've seen Manny like hundred times already. I think uh, he looked the same in camp and uh, it's nothing, nothing changed. If anything, he seems this time around to be a little bit more focused. Usually he has a lot of fun and, and, and you know, jokes around in camp, but this time it, he seems a little, bit, a little bit more focused than what I've seen in the past. Would you agree? Yes, yes. He's more focused and uh, very serious with, uh, with uh, training camp, especially uh, like he always wants to do more on Freddie Hub. You know, has to stop him because uh, his you know, his body is not you know, he's not young anymore. So he, I think he needs uh, more rest and uh, good training, proper training. How many um, in in your longest day of sparring? How many rounds is the most that he's done for this training camp? For this training camp, he did uh, uh, 12 rounds last week. So like the uh, sparring schedule is st still the same. And now you just wind down because we're getting closer to the fight. Uh -huh. Now now it's. Uh, I think he's going to do eight rounds and 6-4 uh, this week. And uh, next week, he'll be ready to fight. Thank you, Marvin. De nada. Now Manny's moving to the last of the three bags that he's doing, which is the speed bag. Now, Freddie, this is the video everybody sees. Everyone gets, gets clips of uh, the fighter on the speed bag. Why don't you take us through uh, what the purpose of, of this bag is for? Well, I really like to hit it because I get really good at it and you show off and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> you know, and the thing is, you walk into a boxing gym and you get a speed bag. Most people think you know how to box. But it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a great exercise. It's really the best way to, to practice keeping your hands up because your hands are up the entire time hitting the bag and it gives you endurance to so hold your hands up and protect yourself for 12 rounds. So it's really, that, that's the main reason behind it. But I like it for left hook also. It's the best place to learn how to throw a left hook because it's designed more like a person's head than anything else in the gym. So when you have that in front of you and you hit that short left hook right there, it's, for, it's right on the chin. It's, it's very good. So I like practicing the left hook on there for accuracy and accuracy and power and knockouts. All right, let's get to it.
Just a reminder, the Manny Pacquiao Tim Bradley Championship event will take place Saturday, April 9th at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. It will be produced and distributed live by HBO Pay-Per-View beginning at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Don't miss the No Trump Pay-Per-View undercard featuring the World Championship Boxing Middleweight Championship fight with King Arthur Abraham defending his title against number one contender Gilberto Zerto Ramirez. Also on the undercard, the likes of two-time Mexican Olympian Oscar Valdez defending his NABO featherweight title against the Mexican-Russian and former IBF featherweight world champion Yevgeny Gradovich, as well as 2012 U.S. Olympian Jose Ramirez, who will be defending his WBC Continental Americas super lightweight title against Manny Perez. Also, the HBO special Under the Lights, Pacquiao Bradley, examining the April 9th pay-per-view showdown, debuts Saturday, April 2nd at 11.05 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on HBO. So we're just hanging out here with Freddie Roach. That's what we do, right? We watch Manny uh, work out. Now, you've been watching him obviously work out since he came here to the United States from that very first day that he walked in the wild card gym. Now we may be at the end. Very well. Very well, maybe. Uh, how would you summarize this last training camp for Manny Pacquiao? Uh, you know, he says, he says he's going to retire, and he's training like this. He's training like this is his last fight. He, I've never seen him any better. He's had a quick speed, power. He's looking really, really good, and um, they, I think he has more in him. But um, uh, you know, I, I, again, I becoming senator pretty soon, I think, and maybe moving up in politics might be maybe too much to do both. But um, uh, yeah. this is his last fight. He's going to go out with a bang. And that bang will be against Timothy Bradley, a fighter that you've seen twice in the ring. Much has been made about it, the new man in. Tim's corner in Teddy Atlas, do you feel that you'll see a different Manny Pacquiao in this third fight? Or excuse me, a different Tim Bradley in this third fight? Or do you expect more of the same? Well, I'm sure they're, they're trying to make some adjustments and changes with the new trainer and so forth. But um, you know, he's kind of set in his ways a little bit. He's been doing this for a long time. I do believe once he gets hit, he'll rever revert back to about what he does best. And uh, I think he'll become, become Tim Bradley again. And, um, you know, Teddy um, hasn't trained in a long time. I mean, he's been commentating on ESPN for quite a while, and uh, I think he's a good commentator, and I hope he doesn't lose his job there. As you get Manny ready to wind down in the uh, training here, how has the sparring gone, and, and how do you prepare for what many say will be a more aggressive Tim Bradley in this fight? 
Well, I hope he's more aggressive, and if he's more aggressive, we're going to be more aggressive also, and um, we have no trouble with, with, with the combat with him. I think the speed factor is in our favor, and uh, the power is in our favor. So I, I like that formula, and uh, I hope he comes to fight and not run. I'm trying to see what they're what they're talking about here because you know every time we come to watch Manny you can tell that he has fun and and that he jokes around and everything but honestly this time it seems like he's a little bit more focused than, than he's been in the past is it, do you think that's because it's his last fight do you think that's because um uh, the the his opponent in Tim Bradley he feels that he's improved why do you think there's been a little bit of a change this time around from him well, the thing is, uh, it, could, it, could be, it could be his last fight, and he said the same as he, he wants to look great, great in his last fight, and uh, um, I, he knows I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a knockout because we haven't had one in a long time, and um, I love knockouts. So. <laughs> All right, well, since you love knockouts, oh, well, what's been your favorite Manny Pacquiao fight thus far? You know, Ricky Hatton was a great knockout. I mean, there was um, tremendous. I mean, he's just a great puncher. Pereira was great. I think that's one of my favorite fights, the first Pereira fight. Yeah, that's probably my favorite fight with Pacquiao. You know, when, uh, you know well, when he beats up big guys like Oscar, that was kind of nice, too. But um, we've had, we have a lot of great memories together, and uh, um, he's really been a great guy the entire way through. And, uh, Whatever he decides to do, I'm behind him 100%. Yeah, you always told me that when you felt like it was time for Manny to hang him up, you would let him know. You'd be the first to tell him that you would support him 100%. Do you feel in your heart that that, that is this, or do you feel like he still has more in the tank if he so chooses to continue to fight? I think he has more in him if he wants to. The thing is, this is hard work, though. And, you know, the thing is, I think the layoff kind of hurt him a little bit because he's been off for 11 months, and it's long, his longest layoff ever. And it's, he realized that it's harder to come back after 11 months. So I don't think he's going to do that again. If he, if, if he does decide to fight again, I think it'll be quickly. It won't be uh, 11 months later. And uh, so, and we, we have no... We have no shoulder injury right now also, which helps quite a bit. Well, and that was a factor for a little, for, for more time than, than maybe we initially thought as well. Yes, of course. And uh, he, uh, he did rehab himself and he prayed to God and went swimming in the ocean. And he worked pretty good. I wonder if that swimming in the ocean has anything to do with the log in the ocean. What do you think? You know, they, they say salt water has healing processes, and uh, the Black Sea, and um, somewhere I think over near Russia, a lot of people go to be healed and so forth. And um, maybe well, you know how Teddy Atlas has said that about a log in the ocean. Have you heard that? No. No. You're not paying attention to what's going on over there, right? You just got to pay attention to this, right? Here. Teddy, who? Teddy. <laughs> on that note, let's take it back to Manny. <laughs> Thanks, Freddie. Thank you. <laughs> with Pac-Man, his dog that's here. He's making some noise. <laughs>
Also in the gym today, Jerry Penalosa, two, former two-time world champion, also trained with Freddie Roach, like Manny did. And you've watched Manny's whole career, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts on, on his training camp in preparation for what very well be, may be his last fight in the third against Timothy Bradley? His last fight? Could be. Oh, no, please. We need, we need boxing like him, you know? We need a, a, boxing needs Manny Pacquiao, you know, especially in the Philippines. Oh, no, please, 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 please. We want me with their Pacquiao on rematch. That's it. But first things first is Tim Bradley. You've watched his training camp in preparation. What do you think about his fight coming up against Tim Bradley? Against Tim Bradley? Easy fight, easy money. That's it. Why do you say that? Oh, no. Bradley is not, not in his level, you know. Manny Pacquiao is, you know, he's, he's a complete fighter. Bradley is just okay. So, no, no, no doubt. Manny Pacquiao will, will win his coming fight. You've seen many of Manny's recent fights. Do you think that he's shown any bit of a decline in these fights, or do you think that um, he's right where he should be? Most boxer, after he lose his last fight, in his next fight, he improved. So that's what I'm thinking, or expecting again, with him against Bradley. So I expect him a good fight. I know Freddie was your trainer. Freddie always likes his fighters to go for the knockout. Do you think that we may see a knockout? with Manny Pacquiao knocking out Tim Bradley this time around. What do you think? I think that's that's their plan, you know. You know, pretty with the team, everybody loves to see a knockout, including us. So I have no doubts Manny will win by knockout in first five rounds. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
like Steph Curry? <laughs>
As Manny gets ready to finish up his workout here at the Wild Card, live from Hollywood, California. We still have a live interview coming up, one-on-one -on -one with Manny Pacquiao, talking all things Bradley, April 9th. And if, and if this indeed will be his last fight, he wants to go out with a bang. Freddie talked about it. You know, Freddie always talks about wanting to get a knockout. But Manny still feels like he has something to prove. And he talked about it in our interview coming up. It's all going down April 9th. Pacquiao Bradley live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena and on HBO pay-per-view. Stacked undercard for you, including the no Trump, as it's been dubbed, undercard. But first, I sat down with Manny Pacquiao to discuss his upcoming fight with Timothy Bradley just a few moments ago. Here with Manny Pacquiao. Manny, thanks for taking some time out of your workout to join us here today. As we get closer to the fight now, uh, how would you summarize how training camp has been this time around? Training camp is good. Um, we're, um, we're, we're, we're all set and ready to the fight. Uh, we're just maintaining our condition for this fight. It's been a little bit of a break, longer than you're used to, considering you needed to heal the shoulder and everything after the Mayweather fight. So uh, did you feel like it took a little bit longer to get started um, coming back into this camp, being that you've had such the long layoff? Good thing happened that um, <clears throat> I take rest uh, long. This is my, my, the longest uh, rest in my, in my career since I, I started boxing. And then it's good because uh, when you get it back to training, you're always um, hungry and excited and happy to to be back in the ring. Yeah, it's almost like a, a rejuvenating feeling for you, like you're starting over again. 
yes, uh, it's, it feels like uh, you're starting over again, and you know uh, you need to to prove something, and then especially this fight is, um, yeah, yeah, I need to win, yes, convincingly. In in this third fight against Bradley, um, a little bit has changed because he does have a new trainer in Teddy Atlas in his corner. And and with that being said, do you feel like at this point you expect him to bring anything new, or do you think that you're going to see pretty much the same Tim Bradley that you saw in the first two fights? He has a new um, uh, trainer. Um, I'm sure um, he he will uh, he will uh, bring a different, a little bit different in the ring. Uh, compared to uh, the, the last two fighters that we have. And, and I think I'm excited for that. And that's why I'm, I'm, I need to... Uh, we, we make sure that we're 100% conditioned and, and ready for, to the fight. You've been in this situation multiple times in your career where you faced a guy for the second, third, or even fourth time um, in a row. But most of the time, all those fighters have kept the same trainer and everything, nothing new. Uh, but with Bradley, even in his first two fights, he's you know, had injuries or he fought differently in the second fight, kind of trying to bait you in at the end to go for a knockout because he was hurt. But do you anticipate in this third fight facing the best Tim Bradley that you've seen uh, this time around? Yes, um, this time around, I'm not uh, underestimating him. Um, in fact, um, I consider that um, he's improved. Uh, he improved a lot, and and that's why um, I'm excited to uh, you know to uh, bring up all my my sacrifices in training for this fight and you know hard work and, and that's you know we make sure that uh, the fans will be happy on that night. And you say that that you want to put on a good show for the fans. And at this point, I don't think any of your fans would think that you have anything to prove. But you still feel like you do. Why is that? Yes, because um, every fight that I had, uh, my concern is the the satisf satisfaction and enjoyment of uh, the fans. Um, I don't want to disappoint them. And of course, uh, winning is is uh, different than losing. So. Well, I need. Uh, I need. Uh, I need to win. With a lot being talked about about this maybe being your last training camp and your last fight, uh, do you feel that your approach in this fight may be a little bit different? You know, um, your opponent last fight he made it known that that was his last fight and he wanted to go out in a certain kind of way. Do you feel that same way coming into this fight that you want to make a statement if indeed this is your last fight? Yes. Um. My 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 focus is. Uh, of course, uh, to win the last fight. Um, I mean, uh, before I before I I have my hang up my gloves. It's good. It's good to 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 know that my last fight is win. You've had a, a lot of big fights in your career, um, ones that the fans have been very excited about, very very eager. Uh, where do you rank this fight in terms of of other ones in your career? Mm, one of the most uh, important fight because uh, people are you know watching this uh, they're gonna um, look at it if um, if Manny Pacquiao because this is uh, his last fight and and maybe he he called down in training and for preparation and for the fight and that's that's uh, what I'm trying to prove is is the hunger in um, aggressive Manny Pacquiao is still there until to the last. And, and we see that in your training each and every day. You go hard. You want to do more rounds. They almost have to stop you <laughs> because you would want to keep going. And, you know, Freddie talks about that that fire that he sees in you is still there. Your speed is still there. He says that the shoulder and everything is great. So with all that being said, how much uh, do you want to show in this fight to, to even to please Freddie? Because he's worked with you so hard over all these years. Uh, Freddie, um, he knows uh, um, how our, uh, how I train hard and how I focus in the training, and they sometimes they they stop me to for you know uh, to uh, shorten the the training, and I'm the one who you know putting more ad adding more rounds in in training, but I understand them uh, because uh, you know. I'm not young anymore, so we're getting there. So uh, the body, you need the, when you get old, you need the, your body rest like that. Out of the, the 
previous two fights, I've told everybody that I think that this third fight is going to be the best of the three. I think that um, there's a little bit of questions about how you'll recover after the layoff. And I think that there's people that are excited about Teddy Atlas and, and Bradley's corner. Would you agree that you think that this third fight will be the most competitive? Yes, I, I believe that and agree. Um, it's going to be uh, competitive and uh, more action in the ring, uh, especially uh, uh, TD. It's, um, his style is uh, um, body shot and like that and moving inside. So it's good. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, he will fight toe-to-toe uh, uh, -to -toe with me. So you're looking for Bradley to be aggressive. That's what, that's what you want. Yes, yes. That will play into your game plan perfectly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Which, which you won't tell us. I'm sure you don't want, you don't want to talk about that. You don't want to give that away. Um, but lastly, uh, April 9th, everybody, for that, everyone that's watching us worldwide on our live stream, uh, why should they come down and either join us in Las Vegas or check us out on pay-per-view? Yes, um, to all the fans, um, I would like to invite you to watch this coming fight, April 9th. It's going to be a good fight. We're, uh, we're doing our best and to, to make the, the fight exciting and give you uh, uh, enjoyment and happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we make sure that you're going to be happy on, on that night. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Manny. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Sometimes it's about more than a title. Sometimes it's about more than pride. It's that little voice inside your head that says, we have to finish this. You will commit to overcome pain and fear. You can't handle your speed, son. You're a fireman. To prove once and for all, you're the best. Pacquiao versus Bradley, Saturday, April 9th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, live on Pay-Per-View. El evento boxístico del año está por llegar. Antes del choque entre los eternos rivales, Manny Pacquiao y Tim Bradley, un undercard lleno de acción, destaca Arthur Abraham defendiendo el título mundial de peso supermediano ante el mexicano Gilberto Zurdo Ramírez. El olímpico Oscar Valdés de México desafía al ex campeón mundial Evgeny Bradovich al ruso mexicano. Además, el olímpico americano José Ramírez se prueba en el escenario mayor enfrentándose a Manny Pérez. Pacquiao vs. Bradley, sábado 9 de abril, 9 p.m. este 6 p.m. Pacífico en vivo por Pay Per View.
Thank you. All right. He's done. That's it, right? That's, all, that's it. You're done. How do you feel today? How was your workout? Good rehearsal, right? Exactly. <laughs> good. Uh, very good workout. Um, we do mitts, uh, 10 rounds, uh, heavy bag, couple rounds in heavy bag, punching bag, and a speed bag, skipping rope, and a shadow box. Sparring tomorrow? Sparring tomorrow, yes. How many rounds? I don't know. Eight? eight rounds. Uh. Eight rounds. Because yeah. you're winding things down now as you get closer to the fight. Yes. All right. We appreciate you letting the fans have a live look. They're still watching us now. You want to go ahead and sign off for us? Thank you to all the fans. Um, thank you for uh, watching and supporting us. Thank you. You want to just do anything in Tagalog? Yes. Uh, salamat sa lahat ng mga, uh, mga fans na laging nakasuporta. Uh, sa lahat ng mga kababayan kong Pilipino, marami pong salamat sa inyong lahat. Right. God bless you. Thank you, Manny. Appreciate you. All right, we have Manny's Media Day coming up this week on Wednesday. You can tune into Top Rank TV for all the videos from the Media Day. Tim Bradley's Media Day coming up on Friday this week, and then it's off to Vegas for Fight Week. Tune in April 9th for all the action. It's going down from the MGM Grand or live on pay-per-view. Thanks, everybody, for watching our live stream. I'm Christina Poncher.